all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line Working too hard can sometimes be detrimental to your mental But you won't see until your mind shut down Then you glitching like you got it, itch you just can't scratch Just a know-it-all, know-it-all until he get hard fact Why should I worry about things I have no power to change? Truth accepted and collected, I ain't going insane Anxiety is real, and it starts with control Why should I gain the world if it costs my soul? Whoa. Working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line it's easy to lose when you don't know why you lost and if you don't make a plan then you won't know why you lost it's a whole lot of sheep that love the title of boss i let my stress go because that makes it easy to fall i have been made free i took myself out that prison so let me give you the key while i rest on my mission it's the hardest command given for us to follow you can have all the money but you can still be hollow working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line it's hard for you to rest when you know that you broke and it's hard to sit still when they give you false hope take a lesson from the lion they sit calm and patient lying and wait for their prayer plan to eat for the day timing is everything don't give alert to the weak stay on the move but you still need rest from the week it's a time and a place don't make time for the fake need time for your love then just let the fake hate working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm making this video talking about something that is very crucial to the elevation of the Negroes in America. Black women worship white men. They give honor and thanks to white Jesus. There is no history in the United States in which white Jesus Caesar Borgia did anything to help black women white Jesus did not fight in the Civil War white Jesus did not em emancipate any slaves white Jesus did not establish any policies any laws white Jesus did not march for civil rights desegregation white jesus did not get the black women from the black back of the bus white jesus did not cause women's suffrage or women's right to vote white jesus did absolutely nothing yet white jesus gets all the glory from the white woman from the black women and when black women worship white jesus they simultaneously give homage and thanks to white men who were their slave masters oppressors the white man who killed that that woman massey 
in uh, Springfield, Illinois, gunned her down because she had some boiling water. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But white Jesus did not save her from those bullets to the face. Let me tell you who this white Jesus is. Let me give you a glimpse of white Jesus. Hold on, I'm going to tell you exactly who white Jesus is. His proper name, Caesar Borgia, son of Pope Alexander VI. Who exactly is Pope Alexander the sixth. Hold on, let me go. Hold on. My computer's acting up for some reason. Am I being invaded? Am I being hacked? What's really going on? There's Pope Alexander the sixth. He was. Hold on. Pope Alexander the sixth was behind the Spanish Inquisition in which the Moors was expelled from Spain. He signed a papal bull called Dumb Diversus, basically Dumb Diversity, which uh, ordained the enslavement of all Negroes, all people in the Western Hemisphere. Dumb Diversus, a papal bull issued Say by Pope Nicholas. Pope Nicholas issued the Papa Bull Dumb Diversus. The fifth authorized King Alfonso of Portugal to fight, subjugate, and conquer those rising against the Catholic faith and struggling to extinguish Christian religion, namely the Saracens, Muslims, and pagans in the midst Terry disputed African territory. He also said you can enslave all Africans. But let's look at the Papal Bull issued by hold on. The Papal Bull issued by Pope Alexander. His papal bull. The, he introduced the doctrine of discovery. 1493. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, the papal bull inner whatever criteria issued by Pope Alexander on May 4th, 1493 played a central role in the Spanish conquest of the New World. The document supported Spain's strategy to ensure its exclusive right to the lands discovered by Columbus the previous year, 1492. To be, to be quick and to give you a synopsis, it gave the Spanish the right to enslave, Christianize, and kill everybody in the Western Hemisphere. Doctrine of Discovery by Pope Alexander. Hold on. See, I don't like this stream yard because you got to go in there and change every screen. Hold on. Hold on. I don't like stream yard at all. Where is it? Here you go. Doctrine of Discovery. There you go right there. Doctrine of Discovery. That's what Pope Alexander did. His son is the person that you call Jesus. Hold on, let me show you what let me show you uh his son. Let me show you his son, Caesar Bourget. Hold on. This is Pope Alexander's son. Caesar Borgia, the one you know as Jesus. And let me talk about, let me read some of what Caesar Borgia did. 
and go to some another screen to show you what Caesar Borgia. This is who the black women worship as God. Hold on. Hold on. Britannica. There we go. Caesar Borgia. Born 1475, probably in Rome, Italy. Died 1507 near Vienna, Spain. He was a Renaissance captain who, as holder of the offices of Duke of Romania and Captain General of the Armies of the Church, enhanced the political power of his father's papacy and tried to establish his own principality in central Italy, his policies led to Nikolai Machiavelli to cite him as an example of the new prince. So in the book, The Prince, he talk, he called him Duke Valentine. This is the one they, that uh, Michelangelo used to be Jesus in a 16, 16 chapel. He used a, a image of Caesar Borgia, but in the Roman Catholicism is very similar to ancient uh, Canaanite religions ancient Egyptian religions in which the deities are all modeled after human personifications like Minerva, uh, Ramsey, I mean, uh, Set in a, in a Catholicism, they call it being a patron saint, Saint Maurice. Let me go to Saint Maurice based on your deeds and your life and your sacrifice. You could ascend to a patron saint, of immortality. Hold on. So all of these gods that they worship in pagan religions are all modeled after people, human beings. And that's why they made Jesus, he ascended to a God when he sacrificed his life. They say he's God, the son of God. But hold on. The Jesus that they're worshiping is actually a failed general named Caesar Borgia, the son of the Pope. And the Pope gets his authority from Paul. I mean, uh, no, not Paul, Peter. Peter was seen as the first Pope who was given the keys to loose and to bind. And in Catholicism, they say the Pope has all the Christians in purgatory and they must come and pay money to get their uh, family released from the Pope because the Pope has the right to loose them to the heavens or keep them imprisoned. You got to come and pay an indulgence to the Pope to get your family freed. He has everybody in prison according to Catholicism. So he's the God on earth. See St. Maurice. He became a patron saint in the 4th century AD. So Black women are worshiping a white man named Jesus, who is really a Caesar Borgia. And they're giving all thanks and glory to him for things that he did not do. He did not cause them to get free from slavery. It was black men such as Dr. King, Frederick Douglass, uh, Rosa Parks. Those are the people who was responsible, the people who fought in the Civil War, who made the laws possible to... Uh, Civil Rights Act of 1866, the Freedmen's Bill, 14th Amendment. Caesar Borgia had nothing to do with that. Caesar Borgia was actually part of the, the Spanish Inquisition and the uh, conquest of the Americas that enslaved our people. Yet they're giving him the glory. And this is why their prayers are going unanswered because they're praying to a false deity. Just like uh, in the Bible, when they prayed to ba Baal, Baal, under Jezebel, a Phoenician queen who made everybody worship Baal, and they and uh they they believe in human sacrifice. I mean, I'm gonna show it to you. They believe in human sacrifice. Watch this. Hold on. They're still practicing human sacrifice. 
Hold on. I'm going to show it to you. Watch this. Hold on, watch this. The Bible going to tell you what they was doing. And they're still doing it to this day. Leviticus chapter 1, 15. No, 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 no. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it at all. It's Leviticus 18. Hold on. Leviticus 18. Here we go. Leviticus 18. It says, Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech, for you must not profane the name of your God. Molech is a Phoenician demon. Let me look up Molech to show you who this demon is. They've been they still worshiping them and still sacrificing their children with this abortion agenda. And and why Jesus is not uh stopping them from killing their own children. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Hold on. I don't like StreamYard at all. It's just garbage. It's not as uh, smooth as the other the other program I use. Hold on. Watch this. Look at this demon. Here you go. Molech is the word which appears in the Hebrew Bible several times, primarily in the book of Leviticus. The Bible strongly condemns practices that are associated with Molech, which are heavily implied to include child sacrifice with his abortion. Traditionally, the name Molech has been understood as referring to a Canaanite god. You see what I'm saying? However, since 1935, scholars have uh, speculated that Molech refers to the sacrifice itself. Since the Hebrew word MLK, MLK, Martin Luther King is Molech, it's identical in spelling to the term that means sacrifice in the closely related Punic language. The Punic language is the uh, Phoenicians. The second position has grown increasingly powerful, which it remains contested amongst proponents of the second position. Controversially, continues as the to whether the sacrifice were offered to Yahweh or another deity, and whether they were a native Israelite religions custom, religious custom or a Phoenician import. It's a Phoenician Canaanite import of, of sacrifice of children. Molech, MLK. Is that a coincidence? That MLK is the same acronym for Dr. Martin Luther King. Dr. King is Molech. MLK. We discover something new every day. Let's look up the demon Baal. Baal. That uh, Jezebel forced everybody to worship. Baal, another Phoenician demon. But all represents the male testicles. Every male child is born with Baal. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me go there. Because y'all got to know this white Jesus is really deep. They worshiping a man that there was a failure in life. Baal. Check out Baal. Actually, they got it right there. I could just type it in. I ain't got to keep changing the screen. But I got to go right here, though, to read it. Check out Baal. This, the, this, the, the, she had the prophets of Baal. Baal, 
was the title and uh, honorary meaning owner or lord in the Northwest Semitic languages spoken in the Levant during antiquity uh, from his use among people it came to be applied to God's scholars previously associated the theorem theonym with solar coats and with a variety of unrelated port patron deities but inscriptions have shown that the name Baal was particularly associated with the storm and fertility god Hadad and his local manifestations a fertility god the worship of the male testicles this is the god that uh, Jezebel worshipped Egyptians worshipped Baal all males are born with these Baal but yeah but Jezebel's prophets of Baal let me go there the, the fall the downfall of Jezebel see Jezebel was a Phoenician witch a Phoenician queen who imposed the worship of Baal and also imposed the child sacrifice similar to this witch Kamala Harris and with the uh, the black Greeks in America are, are uh, following, they're all Phoenicians, the black Greek fraternities, because the Phoenicians were the original so-called Greeks. That's where they get their gods and their language and, and history from. The Iliad by Homer and the Odyssey, all the talk about Phoenician gods and Phoenician kings. Europa was the daughter of a Phoenician king. Hold on. What's this? So the black Greeks are all Phoenicians. They worship, the, they, they practice human sacrifice. MLK, Dr. Martin Luther King is Molech. Hold on, let me go there. Oh, let me go, let me change this back to the screen. So before, so I look for it. Yeah, MLK is a demon Molech that they sacrifice their children for to Dr. King is Molech. Hold on. Caesar Bourget. The fall of Jezebel. Well, let me go to uh, Exodus to see why Pharaoh got destroyed. Pharaoh passed the same abortion law that your witch Kamala Harris is talking about passing. She's talking about imposing this same abortion law that was passed by Pharaoh. Hold on. Read Exodus four two two. Then say, no, no, no. That's not even it. I messed it up. That's not even it. Let me go back. That's not even it. It's another Exodus. Hold on. Exodus 1. Check this out. Pharaoh tells the midwives to kill all Hebrew baby boys. Who that sound like? Cynthia G. Then the king of Egypt told the Hebrew midwives whose names were uh, Ship Fora and Pua who when you help the Hebrew women in childbirth look at the child when you deliver it if it's a boy kill it but if it's a girl let it live however the midwives feared God and didn't obey the king of Egypt's orders they let the boys live so the king of Egypt called for the midwives he asked them why have you done this why have you let the boys live? The midwives answered Pharaoh, Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. They are so healthy that they have their babies before a midwife arrives. God was good to the midwives, so the people increased in number and became very strong. Because the midwives feared God, he gave them families of their own. 
Then Pharaoh commanded all his people to throw into the now every Hebrew boy that was born, but to let every girl live. So Pharaoh passed the same laws as Joe Biden, the Democrats, to kill all the baby boys, the black boys, throw them in a river. That sound like the practices of the Canaanites, the Phoenicians. And we know that the Phoenicians were allies to the ancient Egyptians. King Ramses II had a military base in uh, Tyre when he fought against the Hittites in his, in his war. Against the king of the Hittites, he was with the Phoenicians. And we know that the Phoenician king, Harem, built the temple of God for uh, King Solomon. And we know King Solomon married an Egyptian. So he was actually a prince of Egypt too. So they was all interconnected back in the days. And the children of Israel was the intercessor, intercessor between Egypt and the Phoenicians. Hold on. So you see, you see the abortion agenda passed by Pharaoh that's still being applied in today's United States telling black women to kill 50 million babies, yet white Jesus is not doing anything about it. The one they give the glory to. Cesar Borgia is not doing anything to stop this slaughter. And watch what happened to Jezebel. Let me get to Jezebel. Second Kings, the fall of Jezebel. Here we go right there. Let me get let me get the see how Jezebel was thrown down. Watch this. The the black Greek Jezebel, the Phoenician queen, the witch, the the a divine nine witch Jezebel was thrown down and betrayed. Watch how Jezebel was betrayed. Now Now, when Jehu had come into Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she put paint on her face, on her eyes, and adorned her head, and looked through a window. Then as Jehu entered at the gate, he said, Is it peace, Zimri, murderer of your master? And he looked up and at the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? So two or three eunuchs looked at out at him. Then he said, throw her down. So they threw her down. And some of her blood splattered on the wall and on the horses. And he trampled her underfoot. And when he had gone in, he ate and drank. Then he said, go now, see to the accursed woman and bury her. For she was a king's daughter. So when they w went to bury her, but they found no more of her than a skull and the feet at the uh, palms of her hands. Therefore, they came back and told her that he said, this is the word of the Lord, which he spoke by his servant Elijah, the Tishbite saying on the plot of the ground at Jezebel's dogs of uh, Jezreel. Dogs shall eat the flesh of Jezebel, and the corpse of Jezebel shall be a refuse on the surface of the field in the plot of Jezreel, so that they shall not say, here lies Jezebel. So Jezebel named the town Jezreel after her. Not Israel, Jezreel. But she was thrown down by the three eunuchs of Jezebel. So who is the three eunuchs of Jezebel that threw her down? Those are the three men that, that uh, the witch Kamala Harris betrayed. Willie Brown. Montel Williams. Joe Biden. They are eunuchs because she castrated them, castrated their power, stepped on them to get ahead. Those are the three eunuchs that threw her down. And then watch this. The dogs of Jezebel is all of her past deeds, misdeeds, 
I just saw today they saying she gave twenty six billion dollars to East Indians. She's all on the internet bragging about helping East Indians, talking about eating curry, but she's pretending to be a Negro to get your votes. But what she is in power, she gave. And then they had another video I saw. Mike TV was talking about how Kamala Harris went to the Freedmen's Bank Forum to give resources from the black people to minor to other groups to fleece money from us to give to the other groups, the Latinos, the American the Native Americans, East Indians. She just taken and taken, but she has not done anything to give us any and she bragged about a ten thousand dollar loan that was given to a black woman for a coffee shop. But she's she gave billions of dollars to East Indians. This is the witch and all of that all the things that she done in her past is the dogs is gonna eat her up. And those three eunuchs, uh, Willie Brown, Montel Williams, Joe Biden, all are castrated at the hands of Jezebel. But the, the point of this uh, video is showing how black women are worshiping. They are worshiping the white man. Hold on, hold on. They're worshiping Caesar Borgia, this white man. The images of Caesar Borgia, who they see as Jesus, but he's not a he's not the real Jesus. He's a false idol. And when they pray to him, they're not getting their prayers answered. He's not saving them from being murdered, being sterilized, being uh, oppressed going homeless they got to go work for their masters and then when they look at a white man they see a deity and then in the ancient religions all deities are personifications of perfect people perfect personifications of people role models all gods are role models and all the greek gods are phoenicians they worship the black people and then in the renaissance period doing iconoclasm, the Pope Alexander made Michelangelo paint his own son as God. Then he enslaved the people in the Western Hemisphere, enslaved the Negroes, and forced them to worship the white man as God. And yet this God, the white man, did not do anything to save them from oppression, slavery, murder, death, he did not get them from the back of the bus. He did not free them from slavery. He did not stop Jim Crow. This white Jesus did absolutely nothing for the so-called black people. And yet they are loyal to white Jesus. And the black women is the Achilles heel. They are the enemy of the American Negro male. And I wrote a couple of uh, passages, instructions it says black women kill 50 million black babies. Black women is the reason Joe Biden and Kamala Harris got elected. Black women worship white men. They are the enemy. Black American men should abstain from dealing with black women for at least seven years. Should focus on wealth building and higher education. Establishing an independent nation. The U.S. has failed us. Black men has, black women has failed us. We don't benefit in this nation. We suffer lack of investment, lack of inclusion, lack of power. Most black men must pander to a particular demographic. That's why you see the black men pandering to the Republican Party because if they're not a stereotypical archetype, gangster thug, Uncle Tom, Democrat, black people don't want to support them. So they got to go pander to the white people. If they want to get support by the black people, they got to pander to black women, pander to the Democrats, believe in abortion, believe in worshiping Baal, uh, believe in Pharaoh's agenda, worshiping white Jesus. You just got to be a, a quintessential Uncle Tom 
to get accepted by the black people. And you still don't get accepted because the lowest Latino business will get accepted before the black person's business. So the black man don't really have nowhere to go in America, even though the black men was originally worshiped as God on earth because of the uh, prowess. Let me go. Oh, it's just something. This 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 stream yard is garbage. Let me go to Saint Maurice and describe what happened. Let me describe what happened. Let me go. Let me do it right here. Hold on. I'm gonna describe to you what happened. Why he became a patron saint? How in the ancient religions, gods are all modeled after people, and the Catholicism, people are elevated as matron saints like the mary latino worship white women as god or patron saints saint maurice is the patron saint of the of the vatican to this very day let me go to saint maurice where is that and then i'm gonna end it after this hold on construction andrew johnson Hold on, where is that? Got the Doctor of Discovery, Ball, 14th Amendment. I probably got to type it in. Hold on. Type it in. The, the original patron saints of the world are all black men. Even a black Buddha. Hold on. Let me go to St. Maurice. The black women worshiping the wrong deities. That's where their prayers are not being answered. Hold on. Britannica. Let me go there and read something about St. Maurice and get up out of here. Hold on. Saint Maurice died two eighty six near Geneva, Switzerland. Hold on. It was a Christian soldier whose alleged martyrdom with his Comrades inspired a cult still practiced today. Among those martyred with him were SS Vidis. Ooh, them people don't matter. Hold on. Study of the legend. They're not getting to it. Britannica's old racist devils. Hold on, forget that. Britannica's some racist devils. Hold on. They don't want to acknowledge the truth. That the St. Maurice is the Negro. Hold on. Let me go to this one. Britannic, I ain't mess with them. Some of the supposed martyrdom. St. Maurice. Maurice, also Mortiz, Mortz, Moritz, Morris, Moritz, Coptic, was an Egyptian military leader who headed the legendary Theban Legion. See how different that is between how glorious this sound re in relation, in comparison to Britannica, who tried to see he was just a, a soldier and his comrades. Well, no comrades. He was a, the military general in the Theban Legion of Rome in the third century and is one of the favorites and most likely venerated saints of the Martin, hold on, hold on, martyred group. 
He is the patron saint of several professions, locales, and kingdoms. Several several kingdoms, professions, locales. According to the whatever that crap said, material. Maurice was an Egyptian born in AD two fifty in Thebes, an ancient city in Upper Egypt, that was the capital of the New Kingdom of Egypt. He was brought up in the religion of Thebes, Luxor. That's why you got Luxembourg and Switzerland. <clears throat> Let me go to his martyrdom. When Maximian ordered them to murder the, the local Christians, they refused ordering them, the unit to be punished. He was given the, the uh, sentence to decimation. The first 10 soldiers was killed until Maurice was killed. He, his patronage, Maurice is the patron saint of the Duchy of Sauvoy, France, and of Vassilis, Switzerland, as well as of soldiers, swordsmiths, armies, infantrymen. In 1591, Charles Emmanuel, Duke of Savoy, arranged the trumpet, trump, triumphant return, a part of the relics of St. Maurice from the monastery of Aguin in uh, Vallis. He has a lot. He's a patron saint of a lot of a lot of things, including the Vatican. I ain't finna read all of this, but this is Saint Maurice. They don't want to show the picture. They don't want to show you the Negro. The Negro, the Black Negro, is the patron saint. This happened eighteen hundred years ago. Still immortalized, deified. See, people become deities. The original deities were all Negro males, Negro females, all Phoenician Greek deities and gods like uh, Hercules, the son of Zeus and uh, Europa. No, not Europa, but Hercules was, I mean, a Zeus was going down, impregnating a whole bunch of women, having these half uh, God, half human children, similar to in the Bible. When the sons of God came down and had children with the women. But black women are worshiping the white man. They worship the white man, St. Maurice. And because they worship the white man, none of their prayers are answered. Their prayers are going in vain. Nobody is there to hear your prayers. And the white Jesus have done nothing to earn your loyalty. He did not march for civil rights. White Jesus did not uh, fight in a civil war. He did not liberate black women and children from slavery. White Jesus did not do any of these things. So why do he get the glory? What did white Jesus do to get, to get praised? What did he do to earn this loyalty from the black woman? What, why do they worship Caesar Bourget? Let me get you a close up of Caesar Bourget. Let me get you a close up before I get up out of here. Show you the folly. Hold on. Get you a close up. Get you a close up. There you go. There he go. There he go. That's your God right there. What did he do to help you? What did this deity do? What did Caesar Bourget do to help black women? He did nothing, just like the Democrats did nothing. Joe Biden did nothing. Kamala Harris did nothing. Bill Clinton did nothing. Jimmy Carter did nothing. Uh, What's his name? That devil, Johnson, Lyndon Johnson, gave all of the rights to minorities, relegated Negroes, black people to nothing, just another minority. No more separate but equal, no more power, no more resources. We have to give it all. We have to uh, forfeit all of our rights and money to East Indians. And the East Indians were always treated as garbage in America. So they were settled for being minorities. And then in 1980, East Indians and Chinese got together and said they want their own separate minority status. 
which was Asian India, Indian. And then they later on in the 1980s were allowed to benefit from all of our uh, affirmative action, even though they have no history of being discriminated against, being lynched, yet they get the, the lion's share of all of our resources. And yet white Jesus, Cesar Borgia did nothing about it. He did nothing to protect us. He did nothing to deliver us to, to glory. This white Jesus was a failed general, son of Pope Alexander, doctrine of discovery. He's responsible for manifest destiny, conquering of America, enslaving everybody in America, transatlantic slave trade. Another thing he did, I didn't get into it. He replaced the uh, Medici family, Lorenzo the Great, and he failed. So they had to reinstitute the grandson of Lorenzo the Great brought him back to rule because this fool right here was a failure. It's talked about in extensive detail in the book, The Prince by uh, Nikolai Machiavelli. His failure that the black women is worshiping. He did nothing to earn your glory, your loyalty, your uh, praise. And then the, the black Greek Negroes, the uh, Divine Nine are worshiping Baal. MLK is Molek. Dr. Martin Luther King is a demon, a Canaanite demon. He sacrificed our future. It's just all messed up. The more you learn, the more you just get, you just realize we just fools. But that's about it. I'm get up, get up out of here. Sit back and listen to this exposition Intervention inside of control of the women and children They think it's independence Slut tatters and rap music Influence and distribution If you never understood Why you never seen no good This is the hood Controlled by Hollywood And the planet of the apes There's no real escape This is our fate But it's never too late Superfly, Foxy Brown, Minister of Society, Nino Brown. Tony Montana said, No cloud nine. Said it off and you did those crimes. Do your time, looks back and wham. Lost our mind and we dipped them in blind. Man, listen. We had too much rope and sold too much dope. Fail for the okie dope. Now we stuck in this choke hope. They hustle in our votes. The presidents to the popes. The people and the folks. The beast got them in a scope. The society spreading fear. We stuck in this atmosphere. The people won't care about nothing if they're not aware.